Hello, this is Steve. Hey, I just wanted to give you a little bit of instruction for using your new Folding Firebox Nano. Let me just go ahead and take this out of this case here. Now, setting up the Folding Firebox Nano is kind of a no-brainer. You just open it up and it kind of falls into position, so there's not really much to say about that. One thing you will want to do when you very first take your Firebox Nano out of its case or out of your pocket or pack is just push these legs up. They have the ability to slide down, so sometimes in transit these legs will slide down just a little bit. If you, but if you just take a second and push those up, then they will all be seated against their stop, and then your Nano will sit level and you won't have any teetering. The uh, pot stand is fairly self-explanatory. If you point the wires inward, you're gonna have a nice support for a smaller pot or a small cup. If you aim those outward, you're going to have a nice support for a larger pot or a frying pan. Now, when you're feeding your firebox, the sticks through the sides or through the top, a way to control your temperature is by choosing different sizes of sticks. So if you've got, I'm gonna use your hand or your fingers as a guide, but if you have thumb-sized pieces of wood, you're probably only gonna be able to fit two of them in at a time. So if you have four pieces of thumb-sized wood, you're gonna have not quite as hot of a fire as what you will have if you're running, let's say, pinky-sized pieces of wood you'll be able to fit three pieces in each side and you will get a much hotter temperature uh, for cooking. So that's one way of controlling the temperature and then obviously the other way is just by using less sticks um, and once you have a bed of coals built up inside of the firebox you can actually just run one stick in through and just have it producing a very small flame if you're really wanting to simmer um, then that's a great way to accomplish that just build up a little bed of hot coals and then just only have one stick going in but this configuration of having three very small like pinky sized sticks in each side really gives you the hottest burn um, and in my testing, this is how I got my fastest boil time with two cups of water in this configuration. I was able to get the two cups of water to boil in three minutes and ten seconds. So it really produces a nice hot, hot temperature uh, in this configuration. Now one other thing I did want to mention is um, that you can actually use the one set of sticks to stabilize your stove while you're adjusting the other set of sticks. That's kind of a, a little side benefit to the cross-feed fuel delivery system is you do have the ability to kind of stabilize your stove by just putting a little downward pressure on these sticks and that allows you to kind of, if you need to, muscle these around a little bit because what happens is you'll get a little bit of a hot coal stuck on the end of your stick and by twisting the sticks or prying against the back wall just a little bit, you can get that hot coal to break off and then that'll allow you to push your stick further in and, and introduce some fresh fuel to your fire. Another thing I wanted to mention for everybody is that the Nano can be run two ways. You can either run it with your fire grate down, which is what I would recommend if you're top feeding obviously you need the fire grate down uh, otherwise the sticks are just going to fall right down to the ground um, but you can most definitely uh, top feed your stove by having by just dropping the sticks in and you can drop them in from any of the four sides and uh, and once again the bigger sticks will create uh, they'll burn a little longer at a lower temperature and really small sticks will burn hotter uh, but you'll burn through them much faster. So, uh, top feed, you want to have your fire grate down for sure, um, but if you're side feeding your Nano, you have the option of actually using it with that fire grate in its up position. 
Now the advantage that gives you is if you're doing a long duration burn, if you're planning on running your firebox, you know, maybe for an hour or 45 minutes or something of that nature, um, then I would recommend popping your fire grate into the up position and that will allow your hot coals as they break off the end of the sticks that just allows them to drop down to the ground and so what that does is that maintains a free flowing uh, what can happen with a long duration burn is you can kind of build up ash and hot coals in the fire grate and it can start to block off your airflow so with a long duration burn you just go ahead and pop that up and the ashes and the hot coals just drop right down to the ground where they're easily pushed to the side if they build up too much um, but then you have a very free flowing fire it just doesn't become a problem until you really run your firebox for quite quite a while and then those hot coals can start to build up a little bit but that's something that you'll just want to kind of play but with. that's a really nice advantage that the Nano does give you is the ability to really do a long duration burn without clogging the stove up with hot coals and ash not really needing to worry about that at all so those are just some tips and tricks that I've learned in using the Nano in uh, in the period of time that I've been playing with it it's been a lot of fun um, one thing you will want to do is when you're finished using your Nano you want to just put a light coat of oil on it um, if you're cooking and you have some butter or some bacon grease you know you can really use just about anything some vegetable oil uh, just about anything to just kind of put a light coat of oil on it um, there are no alloys of stainless steel that can withstand the really high temperatures of a wood fire and still remain their cor remain corrosion resistant and so putting a light coat of oil on your nano will prevent corrosion and uh, and keep your nano looking nice as well i hope you all have a great time with your folding firebox nanos thank you all for watching